Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Femic DIY. I cannot believe that 2019 is almost over. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you the top Dollar Tree DIYs from the year based on your guys' views. These are the videos that were viewed the most on my channel. So up first, I'm gonna share with you this really adorable home sign that I did back, I believe it was kind of in the springtime. And so I just picked up four of these plaque signs at Dollar Tree, and then I got a mini wreath as well. And then I picked up lamb's ear. Oh my goodness, I use this so much this year. It's 97 cents at Walmart. So the first thing I did was just cut off the strings that were on the back of the plaques. Next, I grabbed some scrapbooking paper at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby tends to be my favorite place for scrapbook paper. And I'm just going to trace around the plaques and then cut out the paper. Next, I'm going to use some matte Mod Podge. You can buy that at Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use it to attach my scrapbook paper to the front of the plaque. And then I'll put a layer of Mod Podge on the front. A tip to not get bubbles is to make sure that you let your Mod Podge underneath dry completely before you put it on the top. And I'll just repeat that with my other three signs. Next, I'm going to come in with a set of Waverly letters and I'm gonna use those to spell out the words H, M, and E and I'll do two coats with Waverly white chalk paint. Next, I don't ever like those lines in between my stencils, so I use a detail brush to fill it in with some white paint. Next, I'm going to attach the sign together by taking some hot glue and just holding the pieces together on the back. For extra stability, I'm gonna come back in, add popsicle sticks and some E6000, and that will really hold the sign in place. Now for my O, I'm gonna use one of the mini wreaths and these lamb's ear. So what you wanna do is just cut off your little sprigs of lamb's ear, and I'm just going to stick them around in a circle. I didn't find I needed to hot glue, but you can always add in glue at different pieces if you feel like they weren't held in place where they needed to be held in place. And then you're just going to hot glue your wreath to the center. And you guys, I still have this sign hanging up in my front room today. I love it so much and you can just attach it using command strips. The next Dollar Tree DIY that you guys loved was this copper themed frame that I made. So I picked up nine of the four by six frames that were copper from Dollar Tree. And I also grabbed this cute little uh, tin piece from like the garden section. I also grabbed some of these ferns and a wreath. I believe I did this more in the springtime. And then the scrapbook paper is again from Hobby Lobby. So I took off the flower portion to my little tin piece. And then I just took the flower outside and spray painted it. Now I'm going to go in with the scrapbook paper and fill up my frame. So I'm just going to take that inner piece, trace around the scrapbook paper, and then cut it out. So next I'm just going to place all of the scrapbook paper in each one of my nine frames. Now to make my wreath, I'm gonna do that next. So all I did was just pull the ferns off of the larger piece and I'm gonna hot glue them so that they're all sticking out to the outside. And I'm just going to mix the different colors so that they kind of work well together. Once you get it covered, just go back in and wherever you see any areas that need additional pieces, just fill in with that. And then take your little small pieces and attach them to the top. 
Next, I needed to attach all the frames together. I'm gonna to be using a piece of foam board from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut it down so it's a little bit smaller than my frame so you won't see it hanging over the edge. Next, I'm gonna line up my frame so that they're ready to be placed on the foam board. You don't want any spaces in between your frames, and then just go in individually and hot glue them down. And then again, I just hot glued my wreath to the center. I'm gonna come back with that metal piece that I had earlier. I'm gonna take the stick off of the top piece, flip it so that it just looks like a metal piece on the back, and then I'm gonna attach that white flower back on, and now it's gonna be on the opposite side. And then I'll just glue that in place. And here's a look at how the frame turned out. Another project that I worked on was this cute fall project, but really you could do it any time of year. I just got some clear vases from Dollar Tree. I got some Buffalo check ribbon from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm simply just going to hot glue it to the bottom of my vase and then I'm going to go up a little ways and put some at the top. And then I'm going to add in some sprigs. I love the cotton sprigs, but you could do this any time of year with whatever florals Dollar Tree has in season. And here's a look at a quick and easy vase arrangement with florals. Next, this is a project that I did around Valentine's Day, so perfect for this time of year. Dollar Tree had out these made with love glass containers. I just went in with some Waverly white chalk paint and I just sponge painted over the entire vase. The thing I really liked about this piece was I knew that when I sanded it down, I would be able to see that cool geometric shape as well as the words on the front of it. And it's usually really easy to pull paint off of glass, so I knew that would make a really neat looking vase. And once you're done sanding, all you have to do is fill it with some cute florals. I grabbed these uh, two sprigs from Dollar Tree and you can either cut this off. All I did was just bend it in half and they fit in there nicely. For $3, I think this looks adorable sitting out. So this next project was really popular on my channel and it was a crate that I made using a welcome rug from Dollar Tree. So the first thing I did was I took my time and I went through and just cut out the word welcome. This took me a little bit of time, but in the end it was totally worth it. So just, you know, take some time and just go in, cut it out, go in, cut out in between the letters and just get it all cut out. You don't want any black showing through. Next, I'm going to use one of the big Dollar Tree poster boards to make a crate with it. So I'm just going to lay the letters out just to kind of see how long they are. And that's going to be my template for exactly where I should cut it. And I'm just going to line up my mat, draw a line where I want to cut it because I'm going to have to do a similar cut for the back. Next, I'm gonna come in with my rotary cutter and just cut out as straight as I can on this line. I'm also going to make two side pieces so that they go along the edge of my crate. So once I had all four pieces finished, I went outside and I came in with some black spray paint and I just spray painted all the pieces black. Next, I'm gonna use some Dollar Tree paper to cover the front of this. I chose the paper that had a wood finish, so it gave the appearance of being a wood box. 
I also decided to cut the paper in strips and put it down. That way it looked more realistic that it was wood. And so the reason I spray painted it was so I had a little bit of the black showing through. And I'll repeat that same step for all three of my sides. Then on the front side, I'm going to hot glue down that welcome mat that I cut out at the beginning. Next, I grabbed one of these spring signs that they had at Dollar Tree because I loved these little crinkle pieces that they had and they fit perfectly on here. So all I'm going to do is hot glue them on the sides of my crate. Next, I'm going to assemble the box. So I'm simply just going to hot glue the pieces on both sides and then I'll hot glue on the top as well and put that one so that I have a back piece for my crate. I was envisioning this for a dining room table, but you really could put it anywhere in your home. What I decided to do was put in some potted plants from Ikea, but really anything you wanted to use, I think would look great. This love sign was out around uh, Valentine's Day. So I wanted to do a project with it because I thought it would be fun, kind of like a farmhouse decor for Valentine's Day that wasn't so in your face red. So I'm just going to paint it with a coat of Waverly White chalk paint. My kids tell me that I paint everything white. And now that I'm going back through this, I see that they're right. I do paint a lot of things white. So maybe that'll be one of my resolutions for 2020 to not paint as much white. So after I painted the two coats, I just cut out some poster board and then they had this fun green moss at Dollar Tree last year and they were in sheets. And so I'm simply just going to hot glue those to my poster board and then I'll trim off the excess. These were quite messy, but they were really cool. I hope that they come out with these again this year. And then I'm simply going to hot glue that love sign to the front. This would be really cute on my hutch, maybe right after the Christmas season. I think it's adorable. So the next project we're going to do is a wall art. And I picked up these three prints around summerish time. They always come out with some good prints around that time of year. I picked up three and you wanna make sure that you pick up prints that are coordinating. So try to get the same color palette. Like you can see in these, they're all like greens and pinks. They don't all match, but they all kind of go together. And Dollar Tree prints are always super small. So you want to make them a bigger presence by adding them together. So I got this burlap ribbon that they sell at Dollar Tree. And this project is super easy. I've done it with a lot of prints, but in a grouping, they look great. So you're just gonna figure out where you want them to be positioned, flip them over to the back, and then I'm gonna cut four pieces of burlap that are all the same length. Next, I'm simply going to just make sure that they're about two inches apart. So if you have a cutting mat, you can put that down, and I'm just going to hot glue them in place. Then for the top, I'm just gonna create a little loop hanger with the ribbon, and this will be great. You can hang it on there. Then I'll go back in and just cut off the excess ribbon because sometimes you can see that on the front side. So make sure you do that step. And that's all you have to do. You have a $4 wall art piece, and I think this is adorable hanging on your wall. The next project is another simple one. You guys, I like simple projects, but really cute ones. So these flower and garden containers, I'm sure that they will be out again this year. So what I'm gonna do is just paint, oh, there we go, painting it white again. I'm just gonna paint it with two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Next, I printed out an image on Google Images. All you have to do is go to Google Images, type in what you wanna print out. So I printed out, I maybe did like fresh flower market, something like that. So I'm just going to cut that out and I'm just going to apply it to the front with Mod Podge. Make sure that you get the mat. If you don't get the mat, your Mod Podge is gonna be real shiny and it's not gonna look good in a home decor piece. And then I'll just put that on there as flat as I can. And then to seal it, you can do a layer of Mod Podge over the top. Make sure that you let that base layer dry first and then that's gonna seal it and it's gonna look like you bought it that way. And then you can put anything in there. You can put Dollar Tree florals. 
I love putting in those IKEA plants. They're about $5 at IKEA. I have probably a million of these at my house. I'm not even kidding. I just love these. So the next project I'm going to share with you is another home sign that I used with these little adorable houses. These houses were popular this year, so I'm sure they will come back this next spring slash summer. So I just picked up some scrapbook paper that I had on hand, and I'm just going to trace out my houses and cut them out so that I can fit the paper inside of them. And I'm going to do that for all four of the signs. Once I get all of the paper cut out, I'll just hot glue it to the bottom. And then I used my Cricut for this project and I just used some self-adhesive vinyl and I'm gonna come through and just cut out the letters. I'm doing H, M, and E. Next, I'm just going to pull the letters out and place them into my little houses. For the O, I always like to do something a little bit special for the O. So they have these little wood pieces. I can't remember what they're exactly called. If anybody knows, just leave it down in the comments. And I just put them in the shape of an O and hot glued them in place. And then I decided it needed a little bit something extra. So I'm adding some black ink paint and just kind of dabbing it on the front. And that's it. And then you have a cute home sign. You don't have to hang it on the wall. It just sits out on any surface. I hope you guys enjoyed looking back at your favorite Dollar Tree DIYs from 2019. I cannot wait to make more Dollar Tree DIYs for you in 2020. If you're new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. If you guys missed our last DIY, I'm going to link it up here for you and I'll talk to you guys in our next one.